god here i am a thousand feet in the air flying over new york city because why not but let's rewind a bit before i was up in the sky losing my mind there was me losing the train station so i go through these doors okay i'm doing it fuck it before I get jumped, I met Subway Station. I'm not a New Yorker, sue me. Either way it goes, this is too complicated. Let's smile if it's 95 degrees on a Friday and you ain't got no man and no man ain't got you. I'm trying to touch the sky and here I am lost underground. Really getting lost in Pit Station. For context purposes, if my soul wasn't tethered to my body, I would lose it too. I lose everything. My mind, track of time, the plot of this video. <laughs> I mean, you name it. I'm that girl that's lived in my hometown literally all my life and still uses my GBS to get around. Are you judging me? Where's Waldo? Finding Nemo head up. Anyway, shout out to my cousin Justin, who's a New Yorker. You like, you like my accent? Who helped me get around? Cause baby. So are they gonna say out loud? If you get an Uber from New York to New Jersey, they have to take half tolls to get from New Jersey to New York. Therefore, you pay for them. So when you are quoted, you might be like, oh, okay, this is over $20. Later on down the line, you'll see that you have a $15 extra credit. And I'm just like, what? How can they do that? Is that legal? I'm supposed to be there at 440. It is 327. Okay. Your girl is not playing. I want it to a lot of no time just in case there's an error and I have to do it because the money that I invested in this situation. <laughs> yeah. In the words of the wise poet, Andre 3000, y'all don't want to hear me, you just want to do I think I figured it out. Oh my God, am I a big girl? Why did my cousin say I look like uh, the rich ass girl or the explorer? I know that's right. If you made it this far, welcome to the first installment of Touch Grass. The series is about me getting out there, exploring the world, and not worrying about who's doing what on social media. Today, we're taking on New York from a whole new angle. Way, way up. When I left, my Uber was $80. Bruh, why is it $16 now? And the thing was free. Love that for me. I swear getting to this helicopter was a journey in itself. I mean, one wrong turn and you're in Narnia. But I finally made it to the helicopter pad and let's just say my nerves were on another level. Just sat here and watched the um, instructions for the flight. Oh my God, my stomach literally physically hurts. <laughs> but oh, I feel like I'm about to shit on myself in a good way though. <laughs> We're about to do it. We already invested. We already paid. We're gonna do it. I'm excited, but I'm scared. When they showed the video, like, the doors are really off. Like, this is not a, uh, what you call it? This is not a, a alarm. This is not a safety alarm. The doors are really off, but let's see. One of the greatest things that I have gotten from touching grass and solo traveling is content creator friends. Like here I am having somebody that is a complete stranger, now new friend, take pictures of me and help me with my content. And it's just an amazing thing to find like-minded individuals just going out doing something that's kind of crazy as hell, but it's different. You're at home saying, I need friends, I need friends, but there are people out here that are willing to connect and help and build community with you, but they're just, outside touching grass and i'm learning instead of forcing those hometown relationships that you know are not fruitful whatsoever maybe getting outside getting out your comfort zone and doing things that are different and sometimes that are free <laughs> can help you meet your tribe Ooh, so i started my day deciding that walking on the ground wasn't enough for me i needed to literally rise above it all this ain't my first rodeo so you're ready to go meanwhile i'm scared i'm really not <laughs> And let me tell you, the moment that helicopter lifted off, I was like, is this even real? One minute you're down there dodging pigeons, and the next you're soaring over them. It's the glow up I never knew I needed. Though I had my moments of uncertainty, especially with a doors off experience, I am so elated and glad that I chose this experience. It literally is one in a million, as you can tell by my facial expressions. And me, I'm the type of girl that when I go somewhere sightseeing, eh, it's cool, but I'm more of an experienced girl. Let's zip line in the forest, not let's just look at it. So this was amazing for me because I got to mix the two. Not only am I seeing these awesome things like the Statue of Liberty and Millennium Park and Central Park and all of these things, but I get to fly over them, baby. And that's what I call it's giving boss. And you know what else? 
up here all the stuff you get worked out about seems literally so tiny seriously who cares about the drama and who's doing what when you're flying above the entire state building it's a reminder that life is so much bigger than our tiny little screens but i aim to encourage people to get out and touch grass do it alone do it scared do it not ready do it skeptical just do it you would be so 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 surprised all of the opportunities that'll come knocking when you put yourself out there because rather you like it or not life is happening around us and it's not stopping for anyone the great news is we have the option to partake this is just the beginning of my touch grass series and trust me we're only going higher from here so if you vibe with today's adventure make sure you hit that like button and subscribe i mean unless you hate fun <laughs>